Welcome to Financial Psychology. Many people never take the time to actually learn why life seems to be so hard for them or why they can't get ahead. Sure, maybe it's easier to keep living life as though everything sucks so you can stay oblivious to how you are actually holding yourself back from getting the things you want, whether that be money, happiness, or freedom. But knowing basic principles in life is essential in order to avoid making mistakes because when you can change your habits, you can change your life. In this video, we are going to cover 12 ways you are sabotaging your success. Let's get started. Number one, you have a bad attitude. You walk around with a chip on your shoulder and you don't care who you hurt along the way. It's a dog eat dog world and you feel that you are just giving people what they deserve. If someone comes along and gives you a compliment, you question what they wanted from you Life sucks, work sucks, so why do you care? What you don't realize is that your attitude is correlated to the way you look at life. When you keep yourself in a negative headspace and act like the world is out to get you, then what you see is your reality. The world really becomes a terrible place and you will never get ahead because you will find all of the obstacles that will stand in your way. You have no resilience to push forward because you've already let yourself become defeated. When you start to look at life to try to see the good in situations and in people, then you'll be surprised by how much easier life can get. The more positive of an outlook you can have, then your reality will look brighter too. It's amazing what you can do with the power of your mind. Put it to good use. Number two, you expect things to come easy. Life would be so much easier if money would just fall into your lap. Maybe you think you deserve to be a manager because you've worked at the same role for three years and your time should be worth the raise. The reality is that life just doesn't always work that way. The people who get success are the ones who put in the extra time and devoted themselves to proving they had what it takes to get ahead. They learned the skills necessary to become invaluable so their time was worth more to a boss or partner in business. Success doesn't just happen. You have to go out and create it for yourself. Studies show that people who earned their money and success tend to be happier and feel more proud and accomplished rather than those who are just given things. Success gives you meaning and meaning is one of the keys to fulfillment in life. Number three, you talk a big game. You tell people things and make promises that you never intend to keep. You say you are going to go help your friend move, but you fully intend on staying home and playing video games. You tell everyone how great you are at life and your job, but you are still in the same place you were five years ago. But it's not your fault people don't appreciate you, they just don't know how amazing you are. But your actions speak louder than words, and eventually people will learn that your word is meaningless. To be respected and taken seriously, you must practice what you preach. Your behavior should reflect the words you say. Number four, you drag your feet. You make excuses for not starting that thing you've been talking about forever because you're just too busy. You know that YouTube channel you've been saying you're going to make millions on, someday when you have the time. But you have to realize that you have to make the time for the things you want and the longer you wait, the more likely it is that you will never do it. Good things in life are things that have compounded over time with lots of effort and persistence. Whether that be starting your business, investing in the stock market, or putting effort into having a good healthy relationship, you will never have what you want unless you take action. Number five, you expect to have everything you want. When you expect to get everything, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Life has a way of showing you just how unpredictable it really is. You think you have everything working out the way it should, you've got a good relationship, your business is thriving, and everyone thinks you're cool at work. But then a recession happens, and no one wants to buy your products anymore, and you have to lay off employees. This goes back to resiliency when you can continue to strive to achieve your goals. You have to be flexible with the journey as you make your way to the goalpost and be ready to pivot at any moment. Number six, you doubt yourself. You might talk a big game about how you are going to make it big on YouTube, but if we are getting real, you won't do it because you doubt yourself deep down. You don't think you are good enough to be promoted or start a business or even get a girlfriend. So what's the point in trying since you know it'll never happen anyway? 
Yes, life is hard and good things take work, but you've got to stop believing that you are not capable of doing something that someone else has been able to achieve. Instead, you need to say to yourself, if they can do it, I can too. There are people out there who figured this stuff out and they didn't do it purely by luck. They took the time to learn and failed along the way until they got it right. It's okay to be scared to do something new, but you can't let your ego get in the way of your dreams. Fail, and then get back up and keep going. You'll get there. Number seven, you don't value your reputation. Your word is everything. People are watching what you say and do, and they judge you based on your actions. If you aren't careful with how you are perceived and who you piss off or screw over to get ahead in the short term, it will cost you many opportunities in the future. Keeping a good reputation is of utmost importance since, if damaged, it is extremely difficult to restore. So do your best to be honest with yourself and others and keep your promises. You never know who will remember your small acts of kindness or the time you cheated them out of money when they could have been a partner in a business deal. Number eight, you keep making the same mistakes. You fall in love only to end it miserably after six months time and time again. At what point after the 10th relationship and third failed marriage will you realize that maybe the problem is actually you? It's easy to live mindlessly through life making the same mistakes and continuing to blame everyone else. But you have to know that until you learn the lessons from your actions, you'll be doomed into making the same mistakes. Be conscious of your life and your patterns. When you see similarities and problems that you continue to have, look at how you are contributing to these issues and take actions to prevent them from happening again. Number nine, you are too problem focused. You find something wrong with every situation. Your girlfriend doesn't try hard enough. Your boss just doesn't understand how to run his business and you can't get to the gym because it's too far from your house when you get home from work. This is the reason that many relationships fail and you never accomplish anything because you are too focused on the problems instead of trying to find solutions. Problems are defeating if you don't look for a way out. It's easier to find everything wrong with a situation than it is to try and figure out what to do about it. Once you shift your mind to becoming solution focused, you'll be amazed at how your life can change and how much more control you can have over situations because you will no longer feel stuck. You can move forward and continue to work on building and achieving success rather than letting your issues pull you down. Number 10. You treat yourself like shit. The way you talk to yourself matters and it is likely that your inner voice is talking shit about you all day. You tell yourself you aren't good enough, or you aren't likable, or you are dumb for not being where you want to be. You don't like your body and you feel ugly. You deal with constant criticism all day long, it's no wonder you hate everything. You have to stop bullying yourself and justifying your thoughts as your motivator for getting ahead. It's not working, in fact, it does the opposite. Talk to yourself as though you are talking to a friend. Be encouraging and compassionate. You will find it will be a lot easier to be kind to others when you are kind to yourself. Number 11. You don't take care of your body. Work and life get in the way, and it becomes more about convenience and trying to make yourself feel better when you are stressed so you eat junk food and drink every night and justify it because your life is hard. Don't wait until you have a heart attack to do something about it. Even though it's easier to give in to all the temptations around you, you will actually feel better physically and mentally when you eat better and exercise. Number 12. You don't value your time. Life is short and it will fly by before you know it. You don't want to live your life in regret over all the things you never did or could never figure out. Don't take the good things in life for granted. Remember that all things, even the good ones, must come to an end. Make the most of each day and each moment and acknowledge that changes are inevitable and embrace them with openness. Focus on having gratitude and make the most of your day and enjoy it fully before it comes to an end. Thank you for spending some time with us today at Financial Psychology. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.